Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the technical analysis of 50 moving average. Basically, what is 50 moving average? So when the price uh, is moving with the 50 last 50 candles, so that means that is a 50 moving average, or you can say that, that it is a DMA. That is the 50 daily moving average. Is a technical indicator that shows that the moving averages closes price of a security over the last 50 days. So that means that it, that denotes it is a 50 moving average. So how to take entry, how to take exit as per the 50 moving average, and um, how you treat like it is a sideways market, and how you can take a trade in the sideways market as well. So we have uh, some uh, factors that you can identify. So what I have done is in the indicator section i have just selected that 50 moving average you can go and search the moving averages and you can select as a sma ema so uh, every both are similar there are only fractions of the of the changes but what you can do like select the sma as a 50 so in the settings you can see like the length is 50 sources is close and i have done nothing apart from the default settings just selected the color as a yellow so now what i can do is like uh, uh, when i selected in a daily time frame that means that when the price is above the 50 moving average that means it is a bullish market and when the price is below the below the 50 moving average then that means that the it is a bearish moving average now if you can easily see in a day time frame so we have uh, how to analyze analysis in the day market or this in the small market basically we have the top down analysis so in the top down analysis we are we are analyzing the market from the from the daily time frame to the one hour time frame and the 15 minute time frame and then take a trade in the five minute time frame uh some traders are doing the doing the trading in one minute time frame as well that's a scalping like quickly enter in the trade and quickly exit from the trade so the concept of 50 moving average is very simple like you can take an entry when the price so for example don't can think it is a one day time frame or e even you can think like it is a one day time frame and you want to put, take a position as a positional trade for example like uh, if you are working in bank nifty and nifty and you have some hedge positions and you can take a a, a trade uh, in the in the in the bullish segment uh, so what you can do is like when the price is above the 50 moving average till now like if i use a brush like till this part it's a bearish side but you are interested more often interested in the bullish market like what you can do like 50 uh, when the price touches the 50 moving average and the next price is above the this previous candle high you, you can take a trade but wait for the 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 confirmation like the next day uh, the price is not break the previous day high like this high it is not yet break so what you can do let's wait for it it's in the uh inside of the 50 moving average now here we can see like it's a breakout even this is our final breakout uh you can take entry up after this uh, uh, position after this high if you take an entry from here then the target till the top okay this is your uh, 50 moving average concept how it is working okay now what you can do see you can take an entry after once the once the uh, candle stick or the price uh, move break out from the 50 moving average so candlestick cross when the candlestick cross over 50 moving average this reference to a situation when the when the closing price of a candle crosses above the 50 moving average uh, line when the uh, candle closing above when the candle closing above the price and uh, below the 50 moving average to above it it indicates potentially a upward momentum in the price action this could be signal of bullish trend or a potential buying opportunity okay now i'm talking about uh, uh, the let bits uh, yeah uh, now i'm talking about the exit criteria so how you can identify exit criteria so basically if you see the distance between uh, moving average to the candlestick here you can identify as of now it is 148 um points here it is three three hundred fifty 
here it is like you can identify 1200 here it is less you can exit here as well but let's wait for the next candle so if you see like in a in a bullish trend it will give you a, a great opportunity on a daily time frame okay you can you can uh, just reduce it to one hour time frame as well and then uh, even if it is good working in the in the in the uh, scalping momentum as well for example in a uh, scalping momentum if i talk about the the last trading session so here <clears throat> uh clearly it is a sideways market just day before uh, the last day so here on the 22nd march so price just um comes down the 50 moving average so it it, it uh, is not sustained yet until the three five candles then once it breaked and for example it breaked from here and the next candle you can draw a trend line as well just take a trend line over here and uh, i'll just reduce the size so that it is very much more clear so once this will be break then i'll take a trade for example if you took a trade and then what i have done is i have taken a stop loss as well uh, for example if i'm taking a long position uh, i'll be taking a trade after this so stop loss can be the the the, the tight stop loss you can understand like it can be your <clears throat> it, it can be your 50 moving average or the the normal stop loss can be the previous candle low okay now what you have done for example it sustained for some time and then you 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 get the uh the almost one days to two and above that as well but if you wait for long as well you you have a good opportunity to to cover the the good amount as well so it's a one raise to five you have captured the 161 points so that means like you have almost completed the 80 per 80 rupees as per the premium of your in the money calls okay now uh, how to exit this okay how to exit the, the 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 trade so basically when the price going up going up going up you can just measure the time the measure the measure the price okay for example from here it is showing you 20 from here it is showing you 30 that means just in a trade okay from here you you have seen that it is less than the previous so here it is 20 it is 30 it is 12 or 13 so you can exit from here or you can just draw a rectangle here uh, like once this box will be break out then uh, if, if it is sustained here then you can see like uh, uh, you, you, you will be there in a trade if it breaks down to the 50 moving average down then you can exit the trade otherwise you will be in a trade and see the result so it is the 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 good result you have seen even in a scalping mode as well you have in the last moment you have gained the 50 to 60 points also like you can draw a trend line just after the trade for example you can uh, you can get the maximum touch point so for example if i uh, have a small scalping so after the breakout of this trend line i can exit here okay so that's that 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 gonna be your around uh, 65 to 60 points that means the 30 premiums uh now if you want another trend line that is the maximum touch points from the the maximum candles that means like you have this trend line okay this is the maximum touch can trend line so here what you have observed that it is not yet breaked it is breaked after this so here you can exit the trade okay this is the the call side now if i wanted to show you from the uh, the the below side so here you have seen it is showing you the the bullish indication so this candle is also the the gravestone dodgy candle like where the 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 body is uh, below and we have the largest wick so now here you can identify that here there are the buyers there are the sellers okay now let's wait for the next day so next day it uh, comes under the 50 moving average the last day was above the 50 moving average so here you have seen so for if you if you uh, draw a rectangle 
at a five minute time frame once it will be break then you can take a trade okay for, for example you have you are take, uh, taken a trade so that trade goes to approx 130 points and even you can measure the uh, the gaps as well between the uh, 50 moving average to the candlestick so it is it is 100 so here it is 46 47 and now it is touched the 50 moving average as well so you can exit from here as well now for example if you want you to retest for example once the price under the 50 moving average so it will touch the the 50 moving average and once it will be successfully break out the 50 moving average then you can identify that it is a break even point okay but if you see the next candle uh, after breakout this candle or after the touch of the 50 moving average when it comes under the under the 50 moving average, then you will be stay in your candle uh, stay in your trade because that will be retest area so the first retest area you have identified here this is your first retest area this is your second retest area this is your third retest area again yet now it is not even properly breaked so the momentum that we have gained in the coal side you can identify that it is again the retest area so now once it it, it break the level so it is the bullish momentum you have received okay and now if i talk about like exit like distance between the 50 moving average and the candlestick you can identify here here as well and this involves monitoring the distance between the closing price of the candle and the 50 period of moving average if the distance becomes significantly large it indicates it may indicates an over extended market and a potential reversal trader might consider taking profits or preparing for a reversal signal let's wait for a reversal signal okay and um, again when the candle across over 50 moving average this occurs when the price closing uh, of the candle crosses below the 50 moving average it suggests potential downward direction downward moving direction it could be the signal of bearish trend okay so now we will discuss about some sideways market so here you can identify the the, the market is completely sideways why i'm telling you that because it is not yet break on the above or it is not yet break on the downside so it is on the uh, 50 moving average so price just goes up price touch down it took retest and then goes up okay so here the best scalping you can for a one minute time frame you can identify that uh, once it will be break if you take an entry so it, that's a 40 to 50 points that means in a scalping mode you will get 20 uh, rupees premium okay <clears throat> now uh, you can draw uh, the, the, the positional trader can draw a trend line uh, sorry uh, not a trend line basically you can draw a rectangle once it will be breaked then you can take a trade otherwise that's a sideways, a sideways market indication so it is breaked over here but again uh, we have got the stop loss but once it break see how the momentum comes okay once this break you will be received 220 to 30 points okay so uh, basically we identify that the sideways market is no trade zone but you can uh, with the help of 50 moving you can take a trade so in a sideways market or range range bond market where the price moves within the defined range so here it is moving in a defined range a uh, breakout strategy can be employed uh, a box breakout strategy involves identified a range of bound market where the price oscillated between the support and the resistance so here we have some support okay i'll mark this as green and here we have the resistance so basically bullish and uh, bull and bear both are fighting here in a sideways market okay uh, so basically once the breakout a box breakout strategy involves identify a range bond market where the price oscillated between the support and resistance uh, you can form a box pattern so okay so trader traders basically look for breakout of the uh, support or sub downward the support or the upward of the resistance that is your trading entry 
okay this helps avoid trading during the periods of low volatility and indecision basically types of sideways market and at it, instead of focusing on the capturing potential movement during the breakout moment okay you can identify even just notice one thing once you have the for example in past two three days once you have the uh, a great momentum uh, to capture the trades for example whether it is in a bullish trend or it is a uh, uh, bearish trend then consider that soon once the price closer to the 50 moving away then the sideways market will becomes so after the trending market you can take a selling opportunity and just after the selling opportunity you can just take a trade i hope guys uh, you love this video uh, if i'm having some mistakes that um, means that i'm in in a learning mode because learning keeps learning is a good uh, thing and there is always a failure behind every success uh, so my uh, hard work I, I i know about it like i i need to do more lot of work more work into the the trading section uh, into the video mode as well so guys please support me like if you like this video please like the uh, the video uh, do watch my all the previous uh, videos as well and please subscribe my channel or so share with your friends and family who are interested to learn the share market instead of see without any knowledge if your goes into any any kind of area so that's a very big mistakes i have done multiple mistakes now i'm i'm learning into that so you can watch my videos after watching the videos just go to google and see like the if i i teach you something good then understand the videos and go to google and see like whether this person provided you good suggestions or not okay thank you guys for watching this video have a nice day bye